So, did Disney Plus finally get Bleach? Is it confirmed? What's been going on the past few months? Stick around and find out because you're about to get into some messed up weird news. Hopefully this is the last video that I do on this because over the past few months I've been talking about Disney acquiring Bleach's rights. And over the past few months it has been by far one of the most stressful, most annoying acquisitions and confirmations that I've ever had to experience over my 10 years in the anime community. But before I get into that, one thing that is confirmed at the moment as of recording this video, and I was very off put from making this video, and what seems to be currently the most correct and confirmed thing, is that Crunchyroll, in fact, like I said, lost the bidding war and has been removed off Crunchyroll on every single platform that it owns, as well as every single country that Crunchyroll resides in. Where's the evidence of this? go check for yourself. And if you're one of those people that are in a Discord server also saying that it was a server error, then also go check the YouTube channel, which Crunchyroll have privated all of their Bleach videos as well. So this wasn't an error, this was completely intentional. Crunchyroll has lost Bleach and Crunchyroll does not have it whatsoever. So to talk about Crunchyroll just a little bit before talking about Disney Plus and Viz, I do want to say it is very perplexing as a community to kind of not understand that Bleach was never going to be on Crunchyroll, simply for the fact of there has been Crunchyroll Expos and there's been literally no marketing whatsoever. There's been no word from Crunchyroll about Bleach whatsoever. Whatsoever. It's always been very tight-lipped and closed. And considering we are seven days away from Bleach airing on Japanese television as well as potentially streaming platforms such as Disney Plus, there's been nothing from Crunchyroll. And as of last night, we found out that it did in fact get removed. And this is a big, big problem on many fronts. Because while I was conflicted of Disney Plus getting the rights to Bleach, my biggest concern about this whole ordeal was simulcasting rights. And while we do know that Bleach is going to be simulcasted so far, confirmed within North America, we don't know about other territories as of yet, it would make sense to keep it simulcast worldwide. Simulcasting was my biggest concern out of everything because it doesn't really matter what platform it's on as long as, you know, it can be simulcasted and I can watch it at the time of its release, which is good. You know, we're not locked in a jail, so to say. But what annoys me is is the act of transparency and how things are being handled and this is more so maybe so much not on Crunchyroll side even though I do have my qualms with them this is more so on Viz's side as a whole. Viz throughout this whole process of you know Chainsaw Man's getting PVs and Chainsaw Man's getting spotlight at Crunchyroll Expos and Mob Psycho is getting like spotlight as well and good promotion. Viz on the other hand have been without any bias of any stretch of the imagination and purely on a business strategy of logic, it has been non-existent. Doing a few tweets here and there is not marketing at all. And as of the recording of this video, it has been 24 hours since Crunchyroll removed Bleach off its platform. So that is already 24 hours of people that have had to pirate Bleach to watch it. Think of how many people have been wanting to watch Bleach to get to the Thousand Year Blue War arc in this month alone. I know, for example, my friend Yonko Productions has been binging Bleach almost every single day to try and catch up to get to the Thousand Year Blue War arc. And doing a quick Twitter search of people talking about the whole Crunchyroll situation, many people were watching Bleach to get to the Thousand Year Blue War arc. And now literally, unless you live in the US where you can still watch it on Hulu, you have nowhere to watch Bleach legally anywhere. And that is literally not only nerfing the community, but nerfing, you know, Bleach's his own marketing through word of mouth alone. And that's what Bleach has really been foundationally built on this past few months since Bleach got announced. So we have seven days where people have got to pirate Bleach. Make it make sense. And then the other side of the spectrum is, well, we've still got no streaming platform announcement, which leaves people and the community in general in a complete disarray because they don't even know where to go to, whether people should pirate it or whether people should even wait or whether people can even get to finish the series before it airs on the 10th. Sure, we have a, you know, New York Comic Con Expo happening on the 8th, but are people really going to be able to binge Bleach in, you know, two days? That's considering that the streaming platform that they announced actually has it on the day of the announcement. So you have a situation where I question this, why are you waiting? Why are you waiting until the 8th 
to announce the streaming platform. This makes no sense, not only for the people that want to catch up, but also even if there was a streaming platform, even if Hulu came out or Disney Plus came out or Amazon Prime or Netflix came out and said, we've got it and we're streaming it right now, then what are you waiting for? What are you actually going to announce at New York Comic Con that will blow everyone's minds and that is justifiable to wait until the 8th to do it? Because the only reason you have a selling point at New York Comic Con is because people want to know what streaming platform it's going to be on. That's your only selling point besides being able to stream the first episode first before it releases on Japanese television. And it's frustrating because I wouldn't mind any of this, but the fact that Viz have been so incompetent with their marketing in comparison to other series is that the way that they're speaking to their audience too is if they're like a mother speaking down to a child, speaking down to them like they're demeaning. That's how I take it anyway. And I've complained about this on many occasions. And, you know, I don't want to be egotistic by saying like I've created a bit of hype or a bit of conversation in regards to all of this because granted there's many people that have Chibi Reviews being one of them but a week ago or a few weeks ago Viz put out one of the PV trailers and in that PV trailer they put in their YouTube tags Bleach Disney which of course is using the keywords to market the video whether those keywords actually bring in any traction to YouTube is, I guess, a question, but still, Viz clearly acknowledge what the rumors are and clearly very knowledgeable to what the situation is going around in the community. So when I bring this up on Twitter and I say, you know, are they taking the piss? Do you know what they do the next following week? Well, they upload that PV that I reacted to in the last video, the one that you saw with the Stone Ritters. And in the video tags of that video, they have something along the lines of, Bleach is not with Crunchyroll. So does this confirm it? Is this enough of a confirmation for the community? And if this is a meme on Viz's part and they're playing this for a keyword search, then one, not only are they false advertising to their audience and gaslighting them, but they're being very sly and coy about it. And this is what I mean with the absolute immaturity of this company. And I cannot fathom logically how they justify being so ridiculous with this IP. They have every right under the sun and yet they execute none of them. They can't even do simple things such as reprinting manga volumes or doing decent Blu-ray quality products. Even as to going as far as actually translating the, the light novels, for example. There's no marketing besides doing the occasional tweet here and there. Oh, it's so-and-so character's birthday. Or look, it's the 1st of October, so it's bleach season. So what do we know about Disney Plus? Well, as you know, Crunchyroll has lost the rights, as explained in this video, with evidence. You can see it for yourself, and I told you about this. Now, there's been a few articles which do leak what's going to be happening in the Disney catalog for the next month and in this next month article we have bleach on the 10th and then on the 24th or 26th i can't remember they have bleach season 1 to 16 meaning that bleach bought has been bought to the entire catalog by disney plus which is also something i said in the last disney video that i did so seeing as these two and two things fit together it's very much pointing towards disney plus having bleach it's very hard to deny at this point that disney does have some involvement with bleach whether it be hulu or disney plus you've got to understand as well that i myself am in the uk and you're is kind of my priority as that's where I'm going to be watching it from and last time I checked only the US have Hulu which is of course a Disney owned company in terms of percentages anyway the rest of the world unfortunately don't have Hulu and will have to deal with Disney Plus unless you're in Mexico that will be HBO Max because they don't have Hulu or Disney in general so HBO Max seems to have had uh, bleach in Mexico but everywhere else non-Asian related, you are looking at a Disney Plus exclusive acquisition. And if you are familiar with the Disney Plus website, Bleach will be on the star category of that website. And that's usually for more non-Disney properties and more of your mature kind of series that go on there as well. You know, your mature rated series, your 18 pluses and whatnot. So at least we know to some extent, you know, that especially in Canada, because that's where it's been confirmed at the moment. And truth be told, I don't believe that Bleach was supposed to be on that list in terms of I don't think it was the intent to leak that Bleach was supposed to be on that list. Well, it did. And if you want to go on the website and check the previous months of all the things that they've talked about that is happening over the next few months of, of Disney Plus, all of them are correct. Truth be told, it's not a video that I wanted to do until we had confirmation, but I think waiting until two days beforehand is a bit ridiculous. I think the whole situation of Crunchyroll losing its rights um, and having seven days of piracy is ridiculous and it makes no business sense whatsoever 
why do you want to why do you want to wait until the eight to, to announce it you know it, it just seems perplexing to me you're going to lose so much audience you, you've lost so much momentum you've lost so much talk and and a gateway for people to watch bleach to get to the blood war and this is how you do it and and you still promote it on twitter like people can consume it which they can't it's it's insane to me i i don't fathom this whole situation and you know in regards to myself i have no disregard or or regret about leaking disney plus in the slightest simply for the fact of if it wasn't look even if the the rumor is true or not or false which i stand my ground and say it is because again look at what's happening do you believe me now you know even if i was guessing it's a very good guess to say the least. But no, I stand my ground. I said what I said and I, I always stick through it, right? Things change with simulcasting. Sure, whatever. We don't even know if that is just for NA. Again, we'll have to see when, it, we, when we see. But for me, I have no regrets on talking about Disney Plus getting Bleach simply for the fact of I don't believe there would be this much discussion or this much traction with the whole series in the West specifically had I not talked about this leak, so to say, this quote-unquote leak, it was once again me, other YouTubers, and the community that pushed Bleach to relevancy throughout Twitter, throughout other social media platforms, and throughout YouTube in general. Because if we solely relied on Viz as the rights holder or Crunchyroll to do anything about promoting this series, it's clear by now that all of you can see that that wasn't happening. It never was going to happen. So do I regret leaking Disney Plus? No, not in the slightest. Look at what it's accomplished. We've we put Bleach on the map. We got it trending. We've had more word out there than ever before. And we wouldn't have ever got that if it actually... If, it, if we didn't say, if we didn't know anything full stop, if we didn't know anything about the bidding war or, or, or anything like that, you would have had a crunch roll, get rid of Bleach yesterday and everyone literally fumbling and, and, and shitting themselves. They'd be like, what, what, what's going on? Right. You'd have confusion. You'd have outrage. But now that people kind of know months in advance, they were prepared for it. They kind of knew the direction we were going. And there's nothing more to piss off a fan base and your consumers more than leaving them in the dark and making them confused and scared and anxious and just overall doom posting in general. This was the best outcome you could have ever happened as a company. I'll take my residuals quite thank you very much. I say that as a joke, but genuinely speaking, this whole thing has been ridiculous and this is not the way to market. And if you as a company or anyone in the industry wanna you know, shun me for that, I feel like I did a good thing. All the people that didn't believe me, that's fine. But look where we are. What was the better outcome? If you've watched the video to the very end, I hope this video ages like milk. I hope we get something very soon and we understand the path that we are going to. We'll definitely most likely be talking about this once again on the 8th of October and kind of getting a bigger scale picture of where we are at. Other than that, as long as it gets simulcasted, I don't care. But one thing we can take away from all of this, whether it's Disney Plus or not, or Hulu, whatever semantical play you want to make, we can all agree, every single one of us, that the marketing for Bleach has been absolutely unheard of unspoken unimaginable it has been something that has never been seen in this community and it's ridiculous other than that i'll be doing a bleach video soon talking about the marketing in japan and how and my thoughts on that basically i don't really know where this video was going i felt like it was needed to be said and just to give you guys a heads up of where we are at other than that we just gotta wait a few more days for a confirmation other than that what are you guys going to do? Are you guys going to stream Disney Plus? Are you guys going to stream Crunchyroll? Are you guys going to go somewhere else? Are you a Hulu person? Do you already have it? But for my European bros and everyone outside the US, what are you going to do? Other than that, I'm going to catch you guys like you guys, of course, have this fine day being handsome. And as always, people, peace out.